things of that nature. Now, when the ball goes out of play, we need to bring it back into play. And in soccer, you see them throw it over their, hand, over their uh, heads. In football, play just restarts from the middle of the field. In rugby, there's an, there's an action called the line-out. And it's kind of more or less a jump ball. Um, we're only going to do <clears throat> one team of this because we don't, uh, we don't think there's enough room to really do uh, opposing teams. And what happens is the non-infringing team or the team that didn't kick it out of bounds stands on the sidelines here, and he throws it into the other seven members of the, of the scrum. And you also have the scrum half who will then convert the ball into play, much like a quarterback does uh, in American football. And so that's the line out, and that's the way we bring the ball back into play. So in the normal course of a rugby match, uh, obviously you've all seen people get tackled. And so we're not going to tackle on the, on the concrete floor, but we'll do a display. Uh, so I think former, former, former ruck. Oh, is Charles? Oh, Charles will do it. Uh, so in the normal course of play, you stop your opponent by tackling him. And when the tackled player goes to ground, he must release the ball. His teammates, as well as the opposing team, will try to try to capture the ball. It's, it's basically a free play once the ball is on the ground. So anybody can have it. Uh, similar to like a fumble in, in, in American football. It's, it's a free ball. Uh, but there, there's the idea that you could ruck over the top and you protect the ball so that your players, the scrum half again, can gain possession and start the ball up again. Uh, now, sometimes when they're playing, you, a player is not tackled. And that's what we call a maul. So the player stays up on his feet and doesn't have to release the ball. He has still regained possession, but the ball is not playable. So what his team does is try to bring the ball back to the back, where a scrum half or other player can then again grab the ball and bring it into play. Okay? So those are some of the basics of rugby. I'd love to get into all the strategy of it, um, but I'm not going to do that today uh, because I just wanted to give you enough to understand the game of rugby as you watch this movie. Um, rugby is a, a fairly old game, started in the early 1800s. So it's a classic game. It's played around the world. Uh, the Rugby World Cup is the third largest sporting event in the world, second to the Olympics, or third to the Olympics and uh, the Soccer World Cup. So it's widely played across around the world. Uh, here in St. Louis, we have a very rich tradition. Uh, rugby has been played in St. Louis uh, for a long time. Uh, our club in particular and the Missouri Rugby Union, which is our uh, group of rugby teams here in the state, were, was founded in 1933. Uh, we sport a number of men's clubs. There's five men's clubs, a number of college sides. There's a women's side. There's high school sides. Uh, college, I think I said college. Um, so there's a lot of rugby going on in the city of St. Louis, and uh, we, we really do have a rich tradition. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, oh, oh I do have a question. Yes. Ah, I should let my, my British colleague answer this question. Okay. Well, if you haven't guessed, it was England. Um, it was started in, in, well, legend has it, in 1823 uh, at Rugby School in, this, in the city of Rugby in England. And that's how it got, got it. So um, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, uh, or after this, if you're interested in playing, if you, if you really like the movie, uh, any one of us in New Jersey, and I've noticed some other uh, members of the rugby union are here, feel free to walk up to them, ask them some questions, and they can, they can help you if you really are interested in playing. So thank you for your time, and uh, enjoy the movie.